recent years, unmanned aerial systems have moved from being niche tools of surveillance to decisive instruments of modern conflict. Nowhere is this more evident than the global proliferation of low-cost loitering munitions, a category epitomized by Iran Shahid 136 drone. These systems have disrupted traditional military balances, forcing advanced air defense networks to waste expensive interceptors on aircraft that cost a fraction of the price. It is in this context that Griffin Aerospace, an Alabama-based drone manufacturer, has introduced its latest creation, the MQM-172 Arrowhead. Unveiled in August 2025 at the AUVSI Pathfinder Conference in Huntsville, Alabama, the Arrowhead represents a striking development in American drone strategy. The aircraft had already made its first public appearance at the U.S. Army's Maneuver and Fires Integration Experiment, MFIX, in Oklahoma, where its Shahid-like design immediately drew comparisons. The Arrowhead's similarity to the infamous Iranian model is not coincidental. Instead, it is part of a deliberate effort to create a flexible, cost-effective drone that can serve both as a training surrogate and as a strike asset in its own right. At the core of the Arrowhead's design philosophy lies versatility. Daniel Beck, Griffin Aerospace's airworthiness manager and program manager, explained that the drone was engineered entirely in-house with modularity in mind. This allows it to support multiple mission profiles. It can act as a reusable target platform for air defense training or be transformed into a loitering munition by equipping an explosive payload. The drone's payload bay can carry up to 100 pounds, around 45 kilograms, enough to accommodate surveillance sensors, electronic warfare modules, or warheads. This adaptability makes it particularly suited for modern conflict scenarios where operational requirements can change rapidly. For launch, the Arrowhead can be deployed from catapult systems or mobile platforms, enabling flexible use in both training ranges and battlefield conditions. With its compact delta wing structure, the Arrowhead deliberately echoes the aerodynamic profile of the Shahid-136. Images released from its demonstrations highlight the resemblance. For military planners, this likeness provides immediate value. Air defense systems can be trained against a realistic surrogate that shares radar signatures, flight patterns, and visual cues with one of the most commonly used drones in contemporary warfare. Iran Shahid-136 has emerged as one of the defining weapons of the Russia-Ukraine war and has also been used extensively in the Middle East. Its effectiveness comes not from advanced technology, but from simplicity and affordability. Built with commercial-grade components and powered by a small piston engine, the Shahid can travel between 2,000 and 2,500 kilometers while carrying a 90-kilogram warhead. Russia has adopted it in large numbers, producing its own localized version under the name Garin-2, with factories reportedly capable of churning out thousands each month. The design principles behind the Shahid have proven highly influential. Smaller states, or those with constrained defense industries, have been able to replicate or adapt the drone without needing advanced aerospace manufacturing capacity. For nations facing such weapons, the strategic problem is severe. Defending against them typically requires costly interceptors, resulting in an unfavorable cost exchange ratio. A Shahid priced in the tens of thousands of dollars may be destroyed by a missile worth several million. This imbalance forces defenders into constant readiness, draining resources while attackers exploit the economics of cheap mass production. In Ukraine, Russia has launched waves of Shahid drones in saturation attacks, overwhelming air defenses and inflicting damage on infrastructure and military assets. Their utility as loitering munitions able to orbit over a target area until an opportunity arises, only compounds their value. Against this backdrop, the Arrowhead represents more than an engineering project. It is a strategic necessity. For the U.S. military, fielding Shahid-like drones serves three major purposes. First, they provide realistic training targets. To prepare for conflict against peer or near-peer adversaries, U.S. forces must rehearse intercepting swarms of inexpensive, Shahid-style drones. Using accurate surrogates allows radar operators, missile batteries, 
and electronic warfare teams to refine layer defenses under conditions that closely resemble actual battle. Second, they enable the testing of countermeasures. Developing cost-effective ways to defeat low-cost drones is an urgent requirement. Training with arrowhead-like systems allows the military to experiment with cheaper kinetic solutions, directed energy weapons, or electronic warfare measures. Third, they offer operational flexibility. While the arrowhead may be used as a target drone, its ability to carry warheads transforms it into a viable strike platform. In contested environments where survivability and cost efficiency matter, deploying large numbers of low-cost loitering munitions could become a practical option for the United States, complementing its arsenal of high-end drones and precision missiles. Griffin Aerospace is not a newcomer to the unmanned systems sector. The Alabama-based firm has produced more than 12,000 unmanned aircraft for U.S. and international customers. Its portfolio includes target drones and other modular platforms designed for air defense training and surveillance. By keeping its engineering, testing, and production in-house, Griffin maintains control over design cycles and can adapt more quickly to shifting requirements. The MQM-172 Arrowhead therefore fits seamlessly into the company's legacy, a modular, adaptable, and relatively inexpensive system that aligns with current defense priorities. Its introduction also demonstrates how smaller American companies are innovating to address threats posed by drones developed abroad, particularly those from Iran and Russia. The Arrowhead is not the only U.S. drone to draw inspiration from the Shahid family. Arizona-based Spectreworks has developed the low-cost, uncrewed combat attack system, Lucas, also known as the FLM-136. This drone features multiple payload bays, a six-hour endurance, and the ability to be launched from mobile platforms. It is designed to integrate into mesh communication networks, enabling swarm tactics. Internationally, other Shahid-inspired designs have emerged. China has introduced the DFX. 50 and ASN 301 loitering munitions. Belarus has fielded the Nomad. Turkey has developed the Azab T150 and T200. Israel has created the RS2 Delta Wing drone for training purposes, while Ukraine has responded with its Hupolo platform to support air defense exercises. Together, these examples demonstrate the far reaching influence of the Shahid 136 as a blueprint for modern drone warfare. The Arrowhead, alongside the Lucas, positions the U.S. within this broader pattern. Rather than relying solely on defensive adaptations, the United States is actively developing systems that mimic, counter, and potentially replicate the utility of Shahid-style drones. The unveiling of the MQM-172 Arrowhead signals a shift in how the U.S. military is preparing for drone-centric conflicts. While high-end systems like stealth bombers and hypersonic missiles continue to dominate strategic discussions, the battlefield reality increasingly involves swarms of inexpensive drones that test the limits of even the most advanced defenses. By producing a system that doubles as both a surrogate and a weapon, Griffin Aerospace has given the U.S. a versatile tool. The Arrowhead allows troops to practice intercepting realistic threats while simultaneously offering a platform that could be weaponized if needed. In essence, the Arrowhead's value lies not in being revolutionary, but in being pragmatic. It borrows from what has already proven effective, affordable, adaptable, and simple, and integrates these qualities into a U.S.-made platform. As conflicts in Europe, the Middle East, and beyond continue to demonstrate the disruptive power of loitering munitions, the Arrowhead positions the U.S. military to both understand and employ the tools reshaping modern warfare.